Welcome to Astronomy Daily, the podcast, your co-pilot on this interstellar voyage through the stars, planets, and the black void beyond. You're tuned into the place where the vast expanse of space feels just a bit closer to home. So, fellow space enthusiasts, prepare for liftoff. Fasten your seatbelts and let's dive headfirst into the cosmic news all around us. Join me as we chart a course through the latest developments in astronomy and space exploration. There won't be any light years between us and the universe as we bring the wonders of space right to your ears. Let's begin our journey across the cosmos. Here we go. The Astronomy Daily Podcast. After circling our planet for nearly 200 days, the international team aboard SpaceX Crew 7 made their triumphant splashdown off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. Welcome back to Earth, astronauts. This mission, under NASA's commercial crew program, saw remarkable achievements forged in the microgravity far above us. Now let's paint a picture of this odyssey. Picture four individuals from different corners of the Earth. NASA's Jasmine Mogbelli, ESA's Andreas Mogensen, JAXA's Satoshi Furukawa, and Roscosmos' Konstantin Borisov. Together, they've traveled an eye-watering 84 million miles, completing over 3,000 orbits around our home planet. Imagine watching sunrise and sunset 16 times a day. This was their life for 199 days. This mission was more than just a record-long spaceflight. It became a beacon of international unity, bringing together expertise from USA, Europe, Japan, and Russia. Their cooperative spirit didn't just keep them going, but also pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible in space. Single spacewalks during this mission felt like small steps at the station, but were giant leaps in how we maintain our space outposts. And oh, the science. These intrepid explorers didn't just gaze at the stars, they were hands-on with hundreds of experiments. Growing food in orbit? Check. Studying the human response to long-duration spaceflight? Check. Every bit of research on board was another crucial puzzle piece to our grand plans of establishing a human presence at the moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, the sturdy vessel named Endurance, has completed its third mission, but it's not taking a break. After a pit stop at Cape Canaveral for a little TLC, Endurance will set off again, ever, the reliable space taxi. This safe return fires up the engines for NASA's explorative vision, reminding us that our species' quest among the stars is a truly collaborative endeavor. As we embark on future journeys to new horizons, the spirit of Crew 7 will continue to inspire, reminding us that when we unite, the universe unveils its wonders. In the cosmic wilderness, Far from the comforting glow of our own sun, an astronomical drama unfolds in the galaxy NGC 3799, about 16 million light years away from Earth. The volatile spotlight centers on a supermassive black hole, a gravitational behemoth lurking at the heart of this distant galaxy. It's a scene of celestial catastrophe where a wandering star strayed too close to the black hole's clutches. What followed is both brutal and illuminating. A stellar feast as the star is inexorably torn apart by the immense tidal forces, a process termed as a tidal disruption event. This cosmic phenomenon is akin to watching Mother Nature's own horror show, but through the chaos and destruction, it delivers valuable insights. Witnessing a star's death spiral into a black hole offers astronomers a rare opportunity to study these enigmatic giants whose whispers echo through the fabric of space-time and whose appetites shape the evolution of galaxies. The event, highlighted by an initial flare of brightness and a subsequent dimming, provides a real-life laboratory for us to observe the mechanics of black hole feasting. The doomed star's final moments send shockwaves of X-rays and light across the cosmos, a signal that triggers our telescopes and fuels our understanding. Each observation feeds a theory or hatches new questions about the nature of these dark space titans that straddle the line between the known and the unfathomable. Supernovas may be the common birth cries of stellar mass black holes. These smaller siblings of the supermassive variety are impressive, yet mere shadows of their gargantuan cousins that weigh millions to billions of times more than our sun. Supermassive black holes like the one in NGC 3799 are critical to the dynamics of galaxies. They are at once architects and destroyers, and their origins are still cloaked in mystery. So what does it mean for us, the onlookers from a distant world, when we see a star being dismantled piece by piece? It means we're one step closer to unlocking the growth patterns of black holes. 
This event, observed as Assassin 23 BD, with its exceptional proximity and uniquely energetic profile, could be a harbinger of newfound understanding. As researchers peer over the data, a narrative forms, painting a picture of a universe more dynamic and interconnected than we ever imagined. We must keep our telescopes trained and our minds open for these stellar feasts are not just distant spectacles. They're beacons that ignite the human spirit of inquiry, send our intellects chasing after the shadows, and push the boundaries of what we dare to comprehend about the monstrous yet majestic rulers of the dark black holes. Picture this, an astronomical titan in the Chilean desert, a single dish stretching across 50 meters like a giant ear tuned to the whispers of the universe. Welcome to the vision of ATLAST, the Atacama Large Aperture Submillimeter Telescope. A gigantic leap forward is proposed, one where we could dissect the universe's most guarded secrets in radio waves. While we've marveled at arrays like ALMA, their limitations have astronomers dreaming bigger. The collective urge now is for a single vast dish, a behemoth capable of picking up signals that interwoven setups can't focus on as sharply. A single large dish like ATLAST could capture details with a precision and depth that we've only imagined. From the fingerprints of distant galaxies to the life story of individual molecules, all laid out in the dialect of radio frequencies. But why radio waves, you might ask? It's the language in which a lot of the universe's most intriguing information is transmitted, especially when it comes to the colder or more energetic corners of deep space. Current telescopes have limitations. Their smaller apertures drown in noise, obscuring the extreme features only larger single dishes can clearly unveil. At last would not just be any ordinary large aperture radio antenna. Its 50-meter single-dish design promises a max field of view of 2 degrees, providing unprecedented mapping speeds for extensive cosmic phenomena. And whereas current large dishes give us tantalizing glimpses, at last aims to fling open the cosmic curtains wide, allowing us to peer at the peak of galaxies' spectral energy distributions or the intricate contours of interstellar medium with newfound clarity. This proposal isn't just about technological bravado, it's a meticulous blueprint, a detailed plan oozing with the potential to affect a multitude of scientific endeavors. The hope is that at last could survey the entirety of our Milky Way, scrutinize protoplanetary disks, and even chase down the elusive signatures of complex organic molecules, those cosmic breadcrumbs potentially leading us to the origins of life. And while the challenges are as steep as its proposed location, at last is an embodiment of the scientific community's ambition, a facility designed to endure, adaptable, and driven by renewable energy. A testament to our ever-reaching quest to comprehend the great tapestry of the cosmos. As astronomers look ahead to potentially break ground by the end of this decade, the Atacama Desert might just become our window into the cosmos's grandest tales, a cathedral dedicated to the heavens, where the universe's most ancient lights are finally untangled in the submillimeter range. In the cosmic dance of space discovery, at last is more than just a step— it's a daring leap. And for all of us who gaze upward, yearning to understand what's out there, it is, quite literally, a vision for the future. Roscosmos and CNSA are leaping forward with an audacious vision that could light up lunar exploration in ways we've never seen before. They're talking nuclear, a nuclear reactor, to be precise, on the surface of the moon. Their goal? To energize a lunar base turning it into a hub of scientific activity and cosmic discovery, and they've set their deadline for 2035. This shared lunar base, with the potent name of the International Lunar Research Station, introduces a bold new chapter in international space collaboration. It isn't just a sign of ambition. It's a declaration of the continued human urge to push into new frontiers. The base, once conjured into reality, will stand as a testament to human ingenuity a beacon on the moonlit landscape that says, here we are and here we stay. But setting up shop on the moon isn't like flipping the switch on your home power grid. Traditional energy sources fall short in the harsh, cold silence of space. That's where the nuclear reactor comes in, promising to deliver a steady and reliable power source vital for the sustenance of lunar bases. Think about it. No looming shadows or long nights will dim the lights of the ILRS as this reactor could churn out power continuously, supporting life and science far from our blue home. It's not just about keeping the lights on. This nuclear reactor is envisioned to be fully automated. Picture this, machines building and managing a powerhouse on another world, 
a scenario plucked from science fiction becoming science fact. The technologies needed for this task are reportedly nearing readiness, and that's huge. It implies a leap in our robotic capabilities, hinting at a future where humans and machines tackle the cosmos hand in robotic hand. And before you ask, no, NASA astronauts likely won't be swinging by. Political tides on Earth ebb and flow, and right now, they're drawing clear distinctions in the lunar dust. Nevertheless, this project between Russia and China invites us to dream of what's to come. Lunar bases humming with the silent song of nuclear power, propelling humanity into a future as boundless as the night sky. The Space Launch System, or SLS for intimates, NASA's behemoth rocket meant to escort humans beyond Earth's stratosphere and onwards to the moon, is evolving. Just picture a caterpillar unfolding into a lunar-soaring butterfly. This isn't just any butterfly, though. It's the SLS Block 1B, the upgraded sibling in the SLS family, and it means serious celestial business. Imagine the SLS Block 1, the beast that propelled Artemis 1 into the firmament. Now amplify that vision. SLS Block 1B is set to make its grand debut with Artemis 4, boasting beefier configurations to shuttles us further and faster into space's vast frontier. It's a clear statement. NASA's not just dabbling in lunar visits, it's crafting a highway of rockets designed for consistent, ambitious moonshots. John Honeycutt, the SLS program manager, has put it plainly, accentuating how SLS was congenitally fated to morph into heftier versions, capable of launching more audacious missions to not only the moon, but the far reaches of our solar system. Their blueprint's been clear. Start strong, then reach for the cosmic shores, built upon the triumphs of their Artemis predecessors. And gather round tech enthusiasts, because we're not just talking brawn, but brains too. The Block 1B's brainy boost comes from the Exploration Upper Stage, or EUS, loaded with four engines replacing the interim ICPS's solitary one. This is the celestial locomotive expected to keep us chugging along for the first eight hours post-launch. That's like comparing an energetic sprint to a marathon. The stakes just got higher. And when you peer into SLS Block 1B's toolkit, you'll find a universal stage adapter, bigger than a city apartment, to fit payloads. Dream bigger think gateway modules for an orbital lunar outpost. It's a clarion call, beckoning to the days of building in moon orbit, gear by gear, creating layovers for astronauts en route to lunar surfaces. Payloads, those precious cargoes of lunar dreams, get a hefty heave-ho too, soaring from 59,000 pounds to a whopping 84,000 pounds. That's equivalent to hoisting more than six adult African elephants straight out of Earth's gravitational embrace. Here's the cosmic cherry on top. Flexibility. SLS Block 1B ensures we've got windows wide enough to seize launch opportunities twice daily. We're talking about a logistics revolution, a streamlined path to orbit, and joyrides to the moon dance with more grace and less weight. The vision NASA is casting before us is clear as starlight. This agency is not just stepping on the gas— it's charting paths, constructing ladders and highways among the stars, set to land the next echelons of intrepid explorers upon our cratered neighbor. So when we think of NASA's Artemis expansion, it's more than a rocket. It's the heartbeat of a program, a pulsing symphony of science, exploration, and human aspiration. With SLS Block 1B's powerful allure, NASA is pushing us to ride the fiery chariot, carving a trail that solidifies humanity's place amidst the timeless waltz of the cosmos. And just like that, our cosmic journey together across the expanse of space wraps up. But fret not, fellow stargazers, for our shared curiosity is a star that never burns out. To keep fueling that wonder, head over to astronomydaily.io. It's the hub where you can dive into the archives for all our past episodes. Craving more celestial news? Sign up for our daily newsletter, where we distill the vast universe into a digestible payload delivered straight to your inbox. And if you're looking to connect, send a message our way. We love hearing from the community. The cosmos is brimming with mysteries that beckon. Stories that stir the spirit of exploration. So keep your eyes on the skies and your ears tuned to Astronomy Daily, the podcast. Until we embark on our next stellar quest, clear skies and Godspeed. The Astronomy Daily Podcast.